there's one thing almost every nomad has, and this one thing can make or break your camp comfort. I'm talking camp chairs. Now, to be honest, I do most of my sitting and lounging in my van, either in my driver's seat swiveled around or on my bed. But when I'm hanging out with friends, my camp chair is super important. And there are so many variations on camp chairs. In this video, I share lots of different chairs so that you can get an idea of what might work best for you. And just a quick reminder, if you like this video, it really helps others find it if you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. This is the chair that I carry with me and I love it. Uh, generally when I sit in it, I just automatically rock back. Uh, the backrest hits my back really comfortably and I just rock in it. It is really small. It fits in my aisleway so that if I'm playing games with people, it can fit there uh, as an extra seat in my van. It's just a little tripod chair. To fold this one up, all you do is grab the handle and you shake it once and it's all nice and compact. It actually has a built-in beverage holder. So when it's folded, you just spread the legs out and set it down. Super easy, really compact, really easy to travel with. And I find it super comfortable. Hello, I'm Wendy and I'm a full-time RVer in my truck camper and here to share a little bit about my chair. It's very compact, it's put together quickly. It's by Guidesman. I've had it for multiple years. Just lift up the flaps, flip it over. I like this chair because I have a truck camper. It folds up very compact. It has a little table, has a spot for my drink. Very sturdy. So show us how it folds up. All right. So you just use this lever and step down over here. Get the rug out of the way. So it's really simple. The back folds down. And then you have your chair. So I have my friend's chair here. This is a Walmart chair and it's a little heavier than a lot of the camp chairs and a little harder to unfold. But <laughs> But once you unfold it, it is super sturdy, super comfortable. Um, it is a little bit of a sling back, so you don't have a lot of like lumbar support in it. Um, but it's a nice sturdy chair. And the folding it up is really easy. You just pull up on the arms and squish it in. All right, so my name is Brian Gifford and I do some videos for Cheap RV Living. And Joni wanted to know about what chairs I carry around. And so this is the plethora of chairs that I carry around. Uh, they all have very distinctive purposes. Uh, this one is great for lounging back and looking at the stars and so forth. But what I don't like about it is it's cumbersome. When you fold it up, it's uh, kind of obnoxiously large. And also the, I can't wear a big hat with it because it hits the back end. And like my feet also don't fit under my, like the chair very well. I can't sit like this around like a fire as easily. Uh, so it has a very distinctive purpose. Now, for ease of going around like places, like if you're gathering with friends and stuff and you just want to walk around, uh, this one is great for that because it simply folds up, it has a sling, and I can just go around, walk around. If I find a campfire or something or people I want to talk to, you just sit it down very easily and then hop down and it's super, super light, super simple, but after a moment, you know, after 10 minutes or 30 minutes of this, you're kind of tired of it. No back support, things to keep in mind. 
This one right here I like probably the best because I can just throw it in my car. It folds up very small and it's it's just so lightweight. I can always have it with me. It does take a little bit of assembly required, but not horrible. But in general, it hits most of my needs because I can still lean back, still wear a hat, still kind of lounge out. Uh, I can sit here and read my book. Uh, and so those are the reasons I carry around three chairs. I know kind of ridiculous, one person struggling with three chairs. When I was talking earlier about like folding them up, you know, this one, you have to remove this little plastic thing. So it doesn't really fold up much, which is the downside of this. So it does take up a lot of room and it is heavy. Uh, so that's one thing I don't love about it, but it's still very comfortable for a lot of things. Uh, this one we've already shown, just folds up very, very quickly and very easily. There's a Velcro strap right here that you just wrap it around and then it's nice and compact. Uh, this one, more of an effort. There you go. So to put it back together, you just put all of the little components back together in their slots. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, you can tell which one, which way the feet are because they have the little rubber stops. So I usually put it down like this and then it has these little, uh, little sleeves right here that you put each one in. I always do the longer ones first, and then Hi, I'm Carrie and I live in a van. I have an overstuffed camping chair. Um, I picked this one as my winter chair because I have a small dog and it gives me the opportunity to kind of like cuddle up with her and curl up. It's a really great wind block. Um, it full, it collapses into one piece, so I don't have to like put it together. My favorite things about the chair include it being kind of like overstuffed. There's a lot of room in here for me and my teeny tiny dog. Um, we can kind of snuggle in here. I've got a couple of down throws that I can wrap up, so it's a fabulous uh, chair to be by the campfire in the winter in Arizona when it's, you know, chilly, but you want to really stay out and just enjoy friends. The downsides to this chair include that all of this fabric is one piece and it doesn't really come apart. So it actually makes it a bit of a hassle to clean. Um, I would also say it takes up a lot of space. And so you really have to be invested in this to make it worth your time in a van. Um, I also have a click chair, which takes up about this much space for when I'm just wanting to pull something out have a quick cup of coffee with someone, or I'm walking around an event. It's small, it's portable, it's not quite as comfortable. So when I'm settling in for a longer evening in my own camp with a bunch of friends, this is definitely the luxury model I pull out. So let me show you the different ways we can sit in it. This is actually one of my favorite, um, like this, um, because I can kind of like sink down. I'll put a little something back here. My dog sits right here and snuggles with me. This is probably the most common way. I'll also sit like, like this, snuggled in, imagine a down comforter on top of me, and I'm like closing me in again. Room for a dog right here. You can sit in it like a normal human, but that's not my preferred style. And so it's pretty big, but easy up, easy down. And then it's also pretty stable. It will tend to blow over in the wind, but it's not going to go very far. So this is my click chair. I got it off of Kickstarter about three years ago, and they're now available on Amazon for actually about the same price, about $100. But this one you pay for the lightweight and the convenience of it. It's just so easy to carry around and put together. Um, again, I don't really like to play a game of, you know, I don't like a jigsaw puzzle in a chair. So this one is pretty straightforward, honestly, like it, for someone my size, it's just about right. Um, for someone with a larger frame, it might not be the most comfortable. The other complaint that people have had is sometimes you can like 
it's it can wiggle a lot it has just enough wiggle for me actually because i tend to move a bit when i'm having conversations but it supports me it uh is really comfortable on a variety of different surfaces even if it's not completely level um you know i'm not gonna be snuggling with my puppy dog in this one but you know it makes me feel like i'm not too much lower than anyone else i'm still on kind of the same level as other people in a conversation <clears throat> and um you know, it leaves my big chair open for my pup. This is really Molly's chair. <laughs> so, it's pretty straightforward. It's just got um, telescoping arms with a little button. You can, there's two on the bottom, right? And then there's a button here that releases the whole thing. Let's bring that all together everything is nice and compact and then it this part wraps around in it you know this is the one I'm obsessed with and the reason I really like this one is because it makes room for two people or more room for one person <laughs> so actually this is my friend's chair and I spent a lot of time in it on this camping trip I appreciate that it's got a really solid back which means that I that there's a wind block. Um, it actually pre stays pretty stable, even on uneven terrain. Um, and kind of one of the nice things, a couple uh, nice features about this. One, it's got the netting inside here, so you and your stuff is not gonna fall out, right? And of course, my favorite feature is not to share, but really just to, to spread out, and it fits a frame like mine pretty well. Um, but it is also an open invitation if other people want to join. You know, you bring one thing and you have two seats. It's also got, you know, kind of the essentials. And apparently, this is for a wine glass, which is just too bougie for me. The downside to this one is that it has a larger footprint, but candidly, it's about the same footprint in my in my garage when it folds up as my bigger chair that only fits Here's one. a chair that's probably going to be really familiar to a lot of us, um, especially those who grew up in the 70s. This is your old aluminum frame chair. This one happens to um, have been rewebbed with some nylon macrame cord. It's really actually very attractive. Um, they're lightweight, they fold up really easily, but they don't fold up super small. So you do have to have a space for the chair to be folded up but they're really, really comfortable. You can find the frames in lots of thrift shops and reweb it yourself. They're very easy and uh, actually really attractive. Okay. Um, I'm Skylar and this is Scout. Here's Scout and Sky. And this is my Sam's Club chair. It's basically a knockoff of one of those like $200 stargazy chairs, <laughs> which it's awesome. It was $35 at Sam's Club. And it's mostly fantastic because I always sit cross-legged. So you can just sit and chill, right? It's very cozy because my legs always dangle off those ones. Um, but it's got this cool thing. You can pull these little tabbers and just chill and watch the sky, which is nice. Uh, oh, it's just relaxing. Okay. <laughs> it's a very good chair. Um, it's also got this sweet hub holder, which doesn't move much when you're swinging, so you don't stump your, your stuff all over yourself. Um, the downside, I suppose, is that it is huge when it packs up. It's very cumbersome, and in two parts, which isn't convenient for toting. So I was saying it's got these little, two little pinner things down here. Um, um, also, a good feature is this just comes off. So to prevent um, the fading and stuff, mm -hmm. as it does, uh, you can just take this thing off and crumple it up somewhere. Um, or just leave it out, whatever. But I think you just pop that up and you got two pieces basically so it doesn't fold up like as conveniently as as that one but when you set it up 
got to be very careful. The first time I set this up, I uh, did so at my mom and dad's house. I didn't know that you had to put those in. So I show my 70 plus year old father this fancy new chair and he sits in it and it collapses. He didn't get hurt or anything, but we all had a good laugh about it. <laughs> so you just throw little pins in and then uh, swoop, becomes a chair. Awesome. All right, uh, so tell us about your other fancy chair over here. Oh, this is a taco chair. This is your standard Walmart special, but they're super handy because you can just whoop, fold them up, um, leave them someplace, carry them around. Um, just basic, basic stuff. The puppies love them. All right, this is a very compact and light chair made by Marchway. Um, and what I really like about this chair is that it is compact and it's light. It has a carrying case, which we just stow on the legs when it's not in use. So you, there are a lot of chairs that are very similar to this on the market. There's this seat piece. And then these are just basically like tent poles that most people have experience with. And they put it in the bag to put the chair together. You can set this part aside. Kind of assembles itself, doesn't it? It kind of assembles itself, yeah. <laughs> you can tell which part is the legs by which part has the rubber feet on it. Mm -hmm. Go. The top has like a deep pull pocket, so you have to put the top on first. And the seat. One of the things I like about it is that it's a little bit springy. So I like a rocking chair and I find that I can just kind of rock myself. Um, but I have heard other people complain that they don't like the back angle on this chair. So there really is only one way you can sit in the chair. Um, you can't like really sit up on the edge, it's not comfortable. So mm -hmm. if the back angle isn't for you, then this chair really isn't for you. I hope this video helps you find a chair for your best nomad life. One that's not too big or too small, but just right. And maybe we'll see you around the fire someday in your perfect chair. If you like this video, please share it. And if you'd like to see more van and rig tours, van life tips, and other information to help women get on the road, hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you're a woman who would like to join in deeper conversation, join our Facebook group, Gal Adventurers, where I organize our weekly nomadic women's virtual happy hour every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.